Welcome to Highland Community College. Hi, my name is Marina and I'm from Moldova, Eastern Europe, and I've been in Highline for two years. Hello, my name is Hui from South Korea and I've been here for three years and we will be your tour guide for this video. We will show you all the important places on the Highline campus, start from the library to the computer lab and of course, all the fun places to hang out. Highline is located in Washington State in South Seattle area, so that means you not can only study here but have fun too like hiking, skiing, sightseeing, and my favorite one, shopping. <laughs> Highline is a great place to study. You can make friends with people from around the world and you can improve your English skills. Highline is a nice campus where you can get an excellent education. We have great tutors who can help you with the classwork and a great faculty to help you to achieve your goals. Now, before we go too far, let's go to our first stop, which is gonna be your first stop, International student programs. Let's, Let's go. go. The International Student Programs Office helps students throughout their Highline education. Advisors are available every day to assist international students in the admission process, arriving to the United States, adjusting to American culture and academic study. International student programs also prepare students for transfer to university or practical training for professional technical degree. ISP's goal is to help you succeed. Hello. Thank you. We are here to ask you some questions. Great, go ahead. So, Michelle, what is an ISP advisor's job? Well, what we do as advisors is to help the students to become comfortable here at the college and to be comfortable living and studying in the United States. So, first of all, for example, we would help with placement testing, helping students choose the correct classes. So we help in academic ways. But then we also help in student life sorts of ways. So we are helping the students to develop the skills that they need in order to manage the processes at a United States college or university. So we can help students to know which office to go to for which questions. If there's problems with an account, with the money, we can help them to go to the cashiering office. Um, so there's lots of things that we do to support students understanding, of course, that a student's education is for their goals and it's their responsibility. So we're helping them to learn to take responsibility, to develop skills so that they can be confident students and confident adults as they move through their educational experience. When students arrive in the United States and they are encountering that first week, it is really busy. It's full of activities, lots of things to do, lots of details to take care of. So international students should really be prepared to hit the ground running when they arrive. Uh, sometimes students will be still arranging housing. We are helping in the ISP office, we're helping students with their placement testing, with arranging their classes. Sometimes students want to make a change in their classes. So we encourage students to arrive and be well rested and ready to go because that first week is a very exciting time. Highline has a few different housing options for international students. Students can choose to live in homestay, an off-campus dormitory, or in an apartment near the school. Homestays are great for students who want to experience American daily life. Living with an American family can help students adjust to life here and improve English skills. Another popular option for new students is a local hotel providing dormitory-style accommodations. Students live together in a community without international students. Each room, either single or double occupancy, includes beds, a microwave, a bathroom, and a study area. The dormitory also includes a continental breakfast, housekeeping service, 
coin laundry and a pool. Some students choose to move from their homestay or dormitory after they are settled into their American lives and have a lot of friends. They get together in small groups to live in apartments around the city. Now we'll visit our friends, Yiru and Shanti, in their off-campus apartment. So you can see. Let's go see. How many people live here? Well, we have three of us living here, and then we got two bathrooms and one bath. So here is Yulu's room right here. Hey, Yulu! Hey, 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 what's up? Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, I just made a uh, kimchi gyoza. Oh, you want to have good. some? Yeah. Sure. Come on, soy right. sauce here. Okay, Shanti, show us the apartment. Want to see the apartment? Oh, my room Okay, oh, let's, let's go, go, let's go, let's go. Show us. Apartment living provides freedom and opportunity to choose your roommates. You can cook for yourself, sit in a quiet area, and invite your friends over to hang out. Hey! 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 Oh, How are you? Do you want to play some basketball with us? Oh, that would be awesome. great! Yeah, let's go! Come on. Guys, you want to play? Hey guys! Oh, sure! Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, we actually have to go. Yeah, go. <laughs> I have class tomorrow, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you guys have to study too. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, yeah. thanks for inviting yeah. us, yeah, having you your, your apartment, showing yeah. us your apartment. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll see you in the class tomorrow, okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah. so I'll see you tomorrow okay. in college. Bye. 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 When you come to Highline, of course, you will need to study hard to get good grades. The library is where you can find books and magazines for your research papers, computers, and printers, or a just quiet place to study without distractions. So now, the librarian found Martin. She's going to tell you all about the great resources available in the library. Hi. Hi. Hello, Fung. Hi. Thank you for talking to us today. No problem. Happy to help. So what services and equipment are available for students to use in the library? Oh, well, we have plenty of services and resources. We have lots of computers and printers uh, free for students to use. We have movies and CDs uh, they can check out and take home. Uh, plenty of study rooms upstairs uh, for group uh, studying. Um, we also have uh, even books with audios for if students want to improve their English. This is a great place to come. Uh, most importantly, we, there's always a librarian here available to help students. Great. Uh, thank you very much for taking your time, and I actually learned a lot. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. As you can see, the library is a great resource, so don't worry if you don't understand everything at once. There's plenty of people that can help you out. The only thing you have to do is just ask. By the way, Marina, I actually have a big micro exam coming up today, so can you actually help me? Okay, I will. Let's go. <laughs> Our next stop on our campus tour is going to be Highline Computer Lab. You may spend a lot of time in here for class or working on your papers or homework. So let's go see. Let's go in. The Highline Computer Lab houses 500 top-of-the-line computer workstations, most of which are brand new with flat screen, CD, and DVD burners. Both CD and Macs are available with multiple language capability. So you can send emails home to friends and family in your native language. The lab is open for students to use seven days a week in fall, winter, and spring quarters. Printing is free and with a laser jet printer in every room. It's quick and it's easy to print out your homework. Technical support is available whenever the computer lab is open. 
If you bring your own laptop, that's okay too. Most of the Highline campus is accessible with wireless internet service. The Highline Computer Lab is one of many resources on campus to help you succeed. <gasps> that reminds me, if I want to finish my paper on time and get a good grade in my writing class, I gotta start now. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's all yours. show you the heart of the campus, the Highline Student Union. The Highline Student Union is where students meet their friends, study, buy books, and grab a bite to eat. So, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> the Student Union houses the cafeteria with many different choices every day. There is a grill for hamburgers and breakfast foods, a salad bar, a sandwich bar, daily specials, and drinks. The cafeteria is a great place to meet your friends for study break or study session. The bookstore is where you will find what you need for your classes, like books, notebooks, paper and pens. You can also buy Highline logo merchandise, gifts, snacks and bus passes. The bistro is where you can get together with your friends to play ping pong or just to chat over coffee and muffins or pizza and soda. Student Union is a cozy place to hang out with a friend, and I'm sure you will spend a lot of time here. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi, Hi how, are how are you? How are you? I'm good. Is it here? Sure, sure. Thanks. Now we found our friends. We're gonna take just a little lunch break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're gonna show you all the activities that we did so far, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Is that the We hope you enjoyed our Highline Campus tour. We've certainly enjoyed showing you around. If you want to know more information about Highline Community College, please visit our website. We look forward to seeing you here on campus in the near future. Bye! Bye-bye! Let's go get some cake.